It's no secret by now that Web 3.0 has the potential to completely change the internet as we know it forever. And that there's a huge upside potential to catching this trend now while it's still early. Whether you want to jump into this space and actually build your own Web 3.0 project, or if you want to acquire the skills to, you know, support somebody else who's doing that, whether it's, you know, get a job, become a freelancer, there's good news for you that you can actually do this and create a Web 3.0 project that actually makes money with the skills that I teach you on this channel. And that's exactly what I'm gonna talk about in this video today as a blockchain developer who works with technology on a daily basis. I'm gonna give you some Web 3.0 project ideas that you can actually build. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna learn how to master blockchain step-by-step -step start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's jump into some Web 3.0 project ideas that you can personally build, okay? So just a quick recap in case you're you know, brand new around here, maybe you're just not 100% clear about what Web 3.0 is in the first place. Well, this is a brand new uh, version of the internet as opposed to Web 2.0 that's basically summarized by you know an internet powered by blockchains. And those blockchains can provide all kinds of benefits like censorship resistance, trust minimization, decentralization, you know, transparency, all types of stuff. And those are some of the benefits, but let's talk about maybe some features um, that you could use to characterize Web 3.0 application because pretty much anything that uses this would uh, fit this description. So basically any app that has cryptocurrency native integrated into it could technically be considered web 3.0 because cryptocurrency really is you know built on top of blockchains therefore it's web 3.0 anything decentralized finance or DeFi related that actually uses smart contracts anything that uses nfts smart contracts blockchain you know whatever i'm going to give you some project ideas that actually use all these things so a couple quick disclaimers that i want to say before i say this list because i was thinking about what's the criteria before i you know give you these ideas so basically i wanted to come up with a list of things that people who are relatively new you know, developers and somewhat relatively new to crypto can actually create. So you don't need to be like an advanced super genius to make this. And that can be done with relatively low effort on the grand scheme of things. Now, it's going to take some work. But basically, what I mean is one person can do it with a reasonable amount of effort. It doesn't take some massive team. And it doesn't take like an insane amount of startup capital to create. So like some examples of what won't be on this list would be something like a crypto social network, right? This could reasonably be done by one person, but the execution of actually getting it to adopt at a massive scale would be very challenging. And it would be unclear about how you'd actually monetize this. And another example of something that won't be on this list would be like, you know, just creating your own cryptocurrency, for example, because that's really easy. You could basically do it in an hour, but you could potentially, you know, get into trouble for this based on your jurisdiction. All right, so now it's all that out of the way. Let's go ahead and get started on what app ideas you could build. So the first app idea would be a DeFi dashboard. And this is a place where you could uh, essentially see all your DeFi information in one spot. So an example would be an application like Zapper that you could reference, maybe get some ideas from. So the whole idea is that you can see this data to help you personally make more money. This will give you insights into what you could do differently. If you could see, you know, how your yields are performing in DeFi, how your tokens are performing, but you can you actually use that to generate insights into where you might find a higher return that could make you money. It could also help other people make money. And then you could essentially charge for this information. And one thing I really like about this particular project idea is that you don't really have to create smart contracts in order to make a web 3.0 application like this. All you really need is a connection to the blockchain itself. You would have to understand how to interpret, um, you know, interactions from certain smart contracts and certain walls in the blockchain. And essentially, you'd have to understand the major DeFi applications out there, understand how cryptocurrencies work with tokens on the blockchain, and then understand how to talk to each of those cryptocurrencies individually and actually pull the information about that user activity for those types of things so that you can see everything in one spot. Okay, but you don't actually have to like create your own smart contract to put them on the blockchain. Now, there might be ways that you could do that to actually create ways to monetize this application, especially if people are paying to use it in some way. Now, the next idea we're talking about is a generative NFT drop, okay? so. I think this is actually a pretty reasonable project for one person because NFTs essentially are a solved problem, right? The smart contracts that you would create, you know, a lot of the NFT drops basically use the same smart contracts, the same pattern. They have a finite number of NFTs that can be minted at the drop. Okay, the only thing that really changes is the artwork or maybe some, you know, special behavior and the attributes and all that stuff can very reasonably be done by a really new developer. And you might not even be, need to be a developer at all. You could just take some existing code and as long as you can follow step-by-step -step instructions, you could put this on a blockchain, 
or you know, hire somebody to just do it for you without that much work. And so if you're not an artist, you don't actually know how to create the artwork for something like this. This is something where you can reasonably collaborate with other artists. This would uh, you know, technically involve maybe an extra person in this step, but you could hire someone like this on Upwork, right? For a pretty reasonable amount of money. You might even be able to find somebody who would take a percentage of the NFT drop and with all the insanity that we've seen in the NFT space lately, it's not that far-fetched to think that you couldn't make some amount of money by doing your NFT drop. It's not saying that it's going to be like the next massively successful NFT that everybody's going to want to FOMO into. But lots of people are buying NFTs, kind of spraying and praying um, that one of them might actually take off. And, you know, you could capture some of that capital that's flowing in. And in many cases, all you really need to do is create some sort of social media account and like a Discord group to get the hype up about your own project. And that can capture people's attention to participate. All right. So next Web 3.0 application idea that you can build is actually a DeFi bot. Okay. So what is this? Well, I'm kind of using this as a broad category because it could really mean, it can mean, mean lots of different things, okay? So one example might be an actual cryptocurrency trading bot, and those can even be multiple things. You could have one that buys and sells cryptocurrency based on prices, although that's a little bit riskier because you might lose money based on you know bad calls. But you can do other cryptocurrency trading bots like arbitrage bots, for example, where you create smart contracts that basically arbitrage price discrepancies across multiple cryptocurrency exchanges, you can integrate flash loans into that where you don't actually need the capital, where you can just do flash loans in between those. You can expand this into multiple blockchains, Ethereum, Polygon, anything that's EVM compatible, the same smart contracts are going to work. You can also do things like create bots that buy uh, you know, tokens as they're listed on Uniswap. So if you're waiting for a specific token and you want to start accumulating it before others do, then you can create a bot that programmatically does this. You could also create a bot that processes uh, liquidations inside of DeFi. So this is something where you have savings and lending apps like Aave on top of the blockchain, for example. And uh, in some c cases, you'll see people who have delinquent loans where they're, um, you know, in liquidation territory. And how a lot of these apps work is they're open protocols and, you know, they let anybody process those liquidations. You can do that with flash loans. And so you can create a bot to do this. So one thing that I like about bots is basically um, it's something that you can create for yourself and you don't have to like, you know, do marketing to get users onto it, right? Basically, you can just create something that makes money because there's money out there and you're kind of helping just connect, you know, pieces together. Now, the caveat to this is some of these things can actually be pretty competitive because if you're looking at the same opportunities that other sophisticated developers are, they might be able to front run you or just, you know, be faster than you in some way, basically be able to execute that strategy. So the real opportunity here is basically to be looking for things that other people aren't currently doing and try to get ahead of that. And with the amount of expansion we're seeing with EVM compatible chains onto multiple you know, environments, like I was saying before, you know, Polygon, Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum Layer 2s, those opportunities are growing and growing. All right, so one more idea that I actually want to throw in here that I didn't mention before, but it just made me think about it because we're talking about DeFi bots is you could actually create an NFT bot where um, essentially you can buy NFTs while they're, you know, being dropped. So a lot of these smart contracts that do the NFT drops work basically the same way. They all have this mint function um, that if you have a bot that recognizes it, that's all you have to do. And you can plug that into any new smart contract address. So basically what you would need here is to create the, you don't actually need to create smart contracts. You would just create you know, a bot, maybe some sort of process in JavaScript, Python, whatever it is that talks to an Ethereum node. And essentially you would take the smart contract ABI and store it in your bot. And that would understand how to call that mint function. And then it would look for this new smart contract. You would just pop the address in and it would just call that mint function uh, programmatically with whatever settings you want to and act actually accumulate NFTs for you because that's one of the things that people struggle with on NFTs is actually successfully doing the mints. <laughs> now, there's a risk here with the gas fees. So what you don't want to do is create a bot that just burns through your entire wallet balance uh, doing failed transactions because these, these minting events can get pretty crazy. So you need to create something in there that can help mitigate that problem. But that's, that's another idea that I just wanted to throw in here because we're talking about DeFi bots. All right, so the last idea that I want to throw out here is actually kind of standing in between Web 2.0 and Web 3.0, okay? And so that's actually to create some sort of uh, blockchain-based API. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So an API is just a web service that lets people request information from it or post information to it. For this example case, let's just, let's just say it's a, something that people subscribe to and can actually uh, get information from about cryptocurrency prices, about the current state of the blockchain, whatever it is. 
there's lots of information that lives on a blockchain or is about blockchain in some way that people want to use inside of web 2.0 applications, okay? So you can think about an API like a website that doesn't have a user interface on it. It's a website that you can just talk to and pull information directly from without having to access it through a web browser. You just sort of talk to its own, uh, you know, machine interface, all right? So how is this really important? Well, basically... Uh, you know, Web, web 3.0, how I see it evolving uh, over time is that it will really enhance Web 2.0 as we know it. So a lot of the same user experience that we have in Web 2.0 will get integrated into Web 3.0. I don't think we're going to be in a, in a you know, a world where, you know, centralized web servers just disappear completely. OK, anytime soon, I'll put it that way. So in a world like that, basically what we're doing is taking the best parts of Web 2.0 and best parts of Web 3.0. So where you, maybe you're taking you know, things that should should be on a blockchain and put them on a blockchain and like things that should be on a web server and leave them on a web server. So those web servers are likely going to need information uh, with APIs inside of them to get information from the blockchain. And so how do you do that? Well, you pull information from, you know, an API that essentially indexes that information and gives it to other people. So you could create something like this. And um, you know, as far as monetizing it, you could actually look at some sort of website like, uh, you know, Rapid API Hub where developers can you know, list their own APIs, and then you can have other people sign up for them in the marketplace like this. Think about like an Amazon.com for APIs. That's a way that you can actually make money for it. You could charge people for requests. You could give them, you know, a set amount every month or maybe pay for metered usage or something like that. There's multiple strategies here. And so just some ideas, like maybe there's a cryptocurrency price API, but maybe it's, you know, more advanced than something that's free, like CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. Maybe you offer some more advanced data here. Maybe you take information about DeFi and make an API format so that other people can consume it. Maybe it's information about Uniswap or any of the DeFi apps. There's lots of things you can build here. All right, so those are some of my top ideas uh, for Web 3.0 apps that you can build. Again, all of these are applications that can reasonably be done by one person in a reasonable amount of time, with maybe a little bit of collaboration with somebody else, uh, done with the exact skills that I teach you on this channel. And whether you decide to like go with one of these and go on to create your own project that, you know, it makes you some income, or you just use these as like a learning experience so that you can help somebody else uh, create this, whether you want to get a job or become a freelancer. These are all great ideas that I think that you could use to, you know, accomplish whatever goal that you're trying to you're trying to go for. So that's all I got for today. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so the more people can learn about blockchain. And if you're as fast at this technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you become a blockchain master step-by-step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So... That's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.